everyone. How are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So what do these words have in common? Shoelace, passerby, sister-in-law, seat belt. If you want to know the answer, stay tuned because we're going to talk about compound nouns. Right, we're going to talk about compound nouns. A noun is a word that names a person, an animal, a place, an idea, or a thing. There can be concrete or abstract nouns. A concrete noun is something that you can touch. For example, a table, a whiteboard, a house, a fire, an apple. Things that you can touch. An abstract noun is, for example, nature, love, uh, happiness. There are feelings, ideas, emotions, qualities, things that you cannot touch. They're usually introduced with articles, indefinite or definite articles. For example, an apple, a house, a computer, the dog, etc. Also, um, they can be introduced with possessive adjectives, like my suitcase, his shirt, etc. And determiners, for example, this glass, that plant, etc. I said that we're going to talk about compound nouns. It's a fixed expression made with more than one word. So the first rule to follow is that the first part of the compound noun usually is a purpose or kind. I will give you some examples later on. The second part usually is who or what. The stress is on the first syllable. So we can't, weak and. Not we can't, but weak and. And you can sometimes omit the second word only after mentioning it first. So, for example, how often do you use your personal computer? Personal computer here is the compound noun, right? And I can answer, I use my computer every evening. So I don't need to mention per personal, right? So I just uh, omit personal and I just mention per the computer. Don't forget that I used the, in this case, the possessive adjective, my, to identify which computer I'm talking about. Now, some compound nouns are written with hyphens. For example, babysitter, and here we have a hyphen, or brother-in-law, here we have two hyphens, and letterbox. These are examples, and there are a lot of them. Others can be written with or without a hyphen. For example, air conditioner, you can write a hyphen or you can omit it. Living room, okay, with or without the hyphen. Some compounds that consist of more than two words are written partly with a hyphen and a space. For example, back seat, and here we have a hyphen, back seat passenger, no hyphen. We can just add a, a space. Mother tongue speaker, for example. Now, um, obviously compound nouns can be countable and uncountable. And I listed some countable ones. Blood donor. Here we don't need a hyphen. Blood donor. Bus stop. Car park. Uncountable ones. Further education. So we don't say further educations but we say further education. Do it yourself. Fast food. And then the last one, toilet paper. Now, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you other points about compound nouns. Actually, I think it's the most important point in this lesson. Right, so we're back. Compound nouns are made of two words usually, but sometimes more. 
They are made up of noun plus noun. For example, house, wife, class, mate, plus room, classroom, etc. Then we have adjective plus noun. For example, high school, old age, dining room, greenhouse. Or noun plus verb, rain, fall, train, spotting, etc. Noun plus adverb, passerby, runner up. Or verb plus noun, driving license, washing machine. Adverb plus noun, bystander, for example. And adjective plus verb, dry cleaning. So now, let's recap. In this lesson, we talked about compound nouns, but I first started by describing what a noun is. A compound noun is a word made up of two or more words put together. There can be noun plus noun, adjective plus noun, noun plus verb, noun plus adverb, etc. Just like nouns, there can be countable or uncountable compound nouns. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. You'll get a new lesson next week. Don't forget to share the lesson if you liked it. And if you want, you can write your own example of a compound noun under this video. Have a great day and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.